Hello, and welcome to another episode of FeatherCast. My name is Rich Bowen, and today I have with me once again Jean-Baptiste Onofre. Uh, he will be a familiar face because we talked with him last week about ActiveMQ, and he's involved in a number of projects at the foundation. Let's go ahead and get started with this. Um, Apache Carafe is a project that's been around for quite a long time. It's got a number of sub projects. And it's, it's fairly familiar to, to people that do any kind of cloud computing, although some people are probably using maybe a downstream of it. But uh, let, let's start with the basics. What is Apache Carafe? Apache Carafe, um, the, the rationale of a project is basically to provide a kind of application runtime ecosystem. So uh, originally, it was based on OAGI. And it's still the case for up to Carafe 4. So the purpose is to provide out of the box some kind of core feature that you can leverage uh, as a developer. So you, you need a, a, to deploy an application and you want to leverage some existing features provided by Caraf and just you deploy just your application on top of Caraf. That's the, the rational. And they, as you mentioned, Rich, there are different sub projects in, in, in Caraf. And the purpose is to extend the core of runtime with additional features we can leverage. For instance, you want to have some kind of monitoring in your application, you, you're gonna just deploy Carf Decanter to provide the feature you need for that. So that's the original and the rationale of Carf ecosystem. On the website, I see that there's been a recent release of uh, 4.3. Can you tell us what's new in that and what's yeah. still being worked on? Carf uh, 4 branch is still uh, the stable one. And in this branch, it means that obviously we cover some security issue, we update some dependency uh, we, we have in the project, but we are also doing new imp uh, improvement, especially about the cloud. So to better to have a better uh, integration of Caraf and your application in the cloud, and especially with Kubernetes, uh, what, what we, we did is to provide new additional feature. I'm thinking in Caraf for free, one of the uh, new feature we introduce is basically to override any configuration using an existing Kubernetes config map, for instance. So that's the new feature we added in any uh, releases. On the other hand, we're also working out on Cara 5, which mm -hmm. is the new big change. And it's not really a refactoring because it's backward compatible with what you are doing uh, using Cara 4, but it introduced Cara is a more generic runtime it's more than only OSGI. I mean, it's, up to now, we are really focused on OSGI, and I, I strongly think that it's still interesting. And in, in different use cases, it's uh, very interesting to leverage and to use OSGI. But we have to 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 agree that there are other technologies on other frameworks on on the market, and the purpose of Caraf is to be uh, flexible enough to be able to run any kind of applications. Including, um, I don't know, micro profile application using CDI or Spring Boot application or whatever, but all running in in the same runtime. So that's the 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 big, uh, not really change, but the big improvement and mm -hmm. a new thing we are preparing for Cara Five. It's still in the design, I would say. It's not yet GA ready, or but but we are moving forward pretty pretty good and 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 pretty fast actually. Um, and the mojo of Caraf is still the same, doing things well but easy. Uh, that's really since the beginning what we are, what the focus we, we have in the, in the community. Do you have some kind of an estimate of, of when five would be available? Oh, that's a good question. Um, the, the first preview, and it's not really an announcement, but it's more a preview of the Cara 5 capabilities will stand during ApacheCon. So we have a, a session, uh, and I have a chance to, to give a, a talk about Cara 5 during ApacheCon on the highlight track. So that's really great to have some preview, where you come from, what's the purpose uh, of Cara 5. Uh, an estimation of, of first RC release candidate probably before the end of this year. That's really the target. So before the end of 2021, we should have a first uh, GA of Cara 5. Certainly with not all the, the, the services we have in mind, but at least uh, some running, uh, ready to run uh, instance of Cara 5. So that, that's the purpose. 
Now, as of this recording, ApacheCon is just a little over a week out. And by the time I publish this, it will be it'll be one week from the yeah. time that you all are viewing this. So that's that's pretty close. Can you give us some examples of of some uh, big flagship use cases of of Carif that are that are in the wild? I would say that the main use cases where we see Carap very popular is first around, I would say, generally speaking, data integration and IoT. So due to the fact that by default, Carap is a more dynamic kind of runtime application. So it means that you can run Carap and then deploy stuff on it. So it's very uh, flexible and popular when you use IoT, where you, ne you need to deploy new integration process or stuff like that. So especially when you combine Carab with other projects like ActiveMQ we discussed last week or Carmel or CXF, you have a very well-designed integration platform for data integration. So that's uh, data integration slash IoT uh, is the first use case. The second use case is more, I would say, microservice gathering. So it means that when you do microservices, you have a bunch of uh, atomic runtime that takes... Uh, step by step, it takes more and more resources on your cloud system. So sometimes you want to gather your microservices in a kind of single runtime where you can scale up, scale down pretty easily. So uh, Caraf is very popular uh, when you want to gather multiple microservices as a uh, on a unique runtime. So if I take some names, um, for instance, we have a talk in 2019 during ApacheCon from Netflix, where Netflix are using Cara for the encoding workflow platform. So basically all the encoders, which are a very specific algorithm, are orchestrated by Cara. Uh, we also have, um, obviously, Talent is using in, uh, Talent Integration Cloud is using Cara as a runtime. So, I mean, there are different people that use Cara um, and all the uh, open source projects as well. But yeah, the, the main use cases we use uh, for Caraf is uh, microservices slash IoT yeah. platform. So the project is just over 10 years old. Correct. Um, and, and all of the, the, the project itself and the sub projects have a, have a wine theme. Yeah. Um, what, <laughs> what's I'm the French. story behind that? So, <laughs> so that's, that's you then? <laughs> no, so, so yeah, that, that's uh, actually the, the project started from Service Mix. Service Mix is still around. Uh, yeah. it, it's an ESB, an Apache ESB uh, and service platform. In Service Mix 3, we were based uh, 100% on Spring, uh, on Spring at that time. We decided in the community to uh, prepare uh, Service Mix 4. And the purpose of Service Mix 4 was to be more dynamic, meaning that it was easier to deploy stuff in, in Service Mix 4 Extra. But... We have some existing features from Service Mix 3 we wanted to keep in Service Mix 4. So all the log management, all the odd deployment, all about configuration and extra. So we started to create what we named the Service Mix kernel. So the kernel, it was a small piece using OSGI that we needed to create the Service Mix 4. And pretty quickly, we had all the project in the foundation that said, okay, what you did for Service Mix is pretty interesting. And maybe we can leverage this for all the projects. I'm thinking about Karma that came later. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking about Archiva. I'm thinking about all the projects like this. And so what we decided to do is to move the Service Mix kernel outside of Service, service Mix itself and to create a TLP based on Service Mix kernel. And so this Service Mix kernel became Caraf. And the key of Caraf is because the key is for kernel, because it comes from um, the service kernel. And why Caraf is simply because it's a container. It's a container where you can pull stuff on it. And so if you if you take a look about wine, is where Caraf is where you pull your wine to give all the flavor of of, of your wine. And so Caraf is it, it comes like uh, from there. So that's the story about the name and and where it come from. <laughs> I'm I'm always a big fan of of names that clearly had a lot of thought put into them. So that's that's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. With the push toward five, I imagine that there's lots of opportunities for interested new developers to get involved in almost I mean it's not a reboot, of course, you said, but but it's 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 a new effort. What sort of skills would somebody need to get involved? What languages is it written in? Caraf 4 uh, was and still 
on ja using Java and OSGI, uh, Cara 5 is still using Java, but it's less OSGI. It's more, I would say, pure Java and service provider interface. So uh, if you are very familiar with uh, just speaking Java and, 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 and SP and all of this stuff, yeah, you can join pretty easily. The good thing is, I think that the core services we plan in Cara 5 are not very rocket science. I mean, they are more. We have to 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 build stuff. A lot of different service, core services, but any. I think that anyone can join and help. Uh, that's pretty easy. Uh, you don't have to be a senior developer for for twenty years or whatever. Any people can join and and participate. It's pretty open, and uh, I think it's maybe easier than in the past because OSGI needs some kind of ramp up to understand how it works internally yeah. and all the class loaders and all this stuff. It's less less true for Cara 5. I think Cara 5 is probably easier to jump on. And so, yeah, uh, anyone that would like to join and, and experiment and, and take a look about what is Cara 5 and what we plan is really welcome. That's, but no, no, no special skills or requirement, at least just Java. <laughs> That's it. Where do we come talk to you? What's the primary place that your community communicates? I would say that definitely Cara website gives you a lot of resources and details about what is Cara the activity of a project. Definitely the main list are also pretty important and it's where we, we communicate a lot. So both user and, and dev mainly lists. And we also have a Slack channel on the ASF Slack. So it means that you can jump on Slack and, and, and yeah, give a try on Cara, ask your questions. Uh, if you want to participate on Cara 5, yeah, then that's fine. Uh, we are pretty open. So, yeah, uh, main, first main list, Cara website, Slack, is all the channels we are using. All right. Well, thank you again for, for your time. And uh, I look forward to, to seeing your presentation next week at ApacheCon. Thanks. Likewise. Thanks. Thanks.